Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. I am Lumber Titan. Welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2 Remastered. Um, this is the, I think, second or third video of the year. I can't remember. Um, oh, guys, that's not showing, is it? There we go. <laughs> oh, be up to somebody. Okay. Trying to figure out everything right here, dude. It's been a crazy day already. It's been, I think, paperwork the second number remaster video of the year. Yeah, I believe so. Anyways, a lot has happened on the base since last time. Um, at one point, I did have like 1.3 million in money in game. Um, I kind of ate that down to 236,000 right quick. So I have used quite a bit of it. Uh, I got the uh, you. I had in this doorway right here because I'm gonna be working on this room in here. I'm trying to do some organizing and everything else. My camera is brighter. I've never had my camera that bright. I don't know what's going on there. That's strange. Uh, Yes, I got a lot organized and do here. Got to add the lights. Work on the doorways right here. It's the Halloween room. Work on that little. Got a secret door hidden behind the wall right here. All I got to do is move that wall and I can access the door. Down here. Good grief. My camera is not the only thing bright today. That is funny, but it is bright in here too. Now that is strange. Just look at that shine. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Like everything is bright. I don't. That's. Huh, okay, that's interesting. I worked on the porch here. I actually got the light off. Um, presents laying around and everything else there. We have been working on the front straight away. I got the start finish line put down, pit road wall worked on, working on the flag stand. I still got a lot to do on that. Turn four is almost completely done. Turn three is done. Catch fence I am still working on. I'm still working on adding lights. I took all the loose wood and I put it in here, trying to get it out of the way because I had wood laying everywhere and I still do because the wood is laying all over the place over here. Good gracious, it's crazy. So I'm going to also decorate here by using trees and placing them along here. Should look pretty, make it more pretty. The base is really it's really going to look good when I get done with it. Jump up here. I think I must say I think I messed my sign up right there, but I didn't. Hop up in here to the wood storage area. Now, one thing that I'm going to do that I didn't plan on doing earlier is I'm going to add a extra floor. I'm going to use it as a display for items needed to complete quests. As I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials on the game. Um, yes, we included the Grey's Anatomy Discord server in here. That's a nice new addition. We're having some random loops like that hiding around the base. <laughs> I'll make it fun. By the way, if you can't hear any game music, that's because I got the game music turned down. I'm getting way too many copyright notices. Which has been annoying as can be. So I turned the music down right there. Number Tycoon 2, the music that's used for that one, it doesn't have any to it, but on Remastered, about every single biome music causes a copyright somewhere. And that's just not really, it doesn't really hurt me in the way there. It's just annoying to sit there and see notifications pop up. Okay. So I'm working on the signs there. Yes, I really did that. 
and I made these signs here, Lumber Titan appreciates you signs, a few people already got those, I know uh, one of the ones that got me into the game has the sign, I'm probably going to make some more and give them out, keep one so I know what colors to use for the print and the background color. I'm lagging a little here today too, that's so I hate that. So I got this to work on in here. We're lagging a little again. <laughs> that's the way my look has been though. It's lagging. I got a lot of work to do in here. I got to add lights. I don't know if I want to add lights at this point. As bright as the bottom floor is. I don't want I don't even want to know how bright it's gonna make it. That's my sign store. I'm not getting done using the sign, I'm gonna put it in there. Let's see how overall it's just very bright on the bottom floor. I'm gonna be doing a lot of work on this base. Um gotta do a lot of work on the Lumber Tycoon 2 base too. I've been working on it quite a bit. Um, it's coming along quite nicely. Supposed to have some tests to see if anyone can get in the base or not. I think you already owe one. One of my viewers is going to do those tests. As long as they ain't done with exploits, I'm okay. As I need to know if people can get in the base or not without using exploits. You can always get in any base if you use them, but I'm wanting to see how good it is without. Doubled up on doors. Heck, that one entrance got like nine doors back to back. So that one is going to be hard to get in. Goodness, I got so much to do around this base. Also, everyone, uh, the schedule for the channel has changed quite a bit and is expected to change a whole lot more. There's a lot going on right now. Uh, not sure if my Chrome's is going to come back or not. If so, I'm probably going to be feeling sick for a while. That's why I was sick in 2020 with it. It kind of, yeah, well, you know, from those that watch 2020 videos. So, that might cut back on a bunch of videos. And also, the Abide It series has been postponed. I can't really say how long it's been postponed i postponed production of it um but for the main channel 12 videos we got planned we got our first video on february 3rd in two days i'm still planning on 12 video season there we got the update video telling what all was going to happen throughout the year and then we got rncis starting and then bacon war starting on the main channel so that's going to be a lot of fun. And here's just going to be gaming with Lumber Tycoon 2 Remaster, Lumber Tycoon 2. We're probably going to throw a few odd games in there. Um, viewer's Choice. Just got to wait to see how that turns out. Let me clean it up here. I don't know why I walked all the way in there and around when I had that one section open there. I don't know. Probably I'm going to add more stoves in here too. Using them for storages. I had the Galaxy X in there but I took it out. This one pretty X. Signs laying around. and got to get more shelves built. So much to do. So much to do. Turn this light off here. Makes a difference. That made a whole lot of difference right there. It's crazy right there how light travels. I've had that issue in Lumber Tycoon 2 a whole lot. Like I think I'm spacing the light out enough to where it won't cause darkness but it won't be extra bright and then somehow one spot it seems to be extra bright. I don't know. 
Oh, I guess that's funny right there. So I was sitting there randomly talking, and then I forgot the 10 minutes right there. So like I was saying before I got cut out, or even probably said during getting cut out right there, base is coming along nicely, just got a lot of work to do. As you can see in the truck down here, Let me hop down here real quick. Takes forever to zoom in. Got the axes and stuff, and got extra printer, money note machine. I'm gonna test those out and see how they do. Rusty axe in there. My base looks scary with that light zone. Like if you just look in there right there, it looks looks a little scary. I mean about almost perfect light about the lights being on. So I think that'd be good. Got to get a lot more brick wood and finish the brick layer. Get that looking nice, and I got the work on the back straightaway. By the time I finish the expansions, I probably will be out of money again, and probably be stuck at like 1,000. So I'm going to try to enjoy as much as I got right now as I can. I sure can find use for it, but especially... In this game, now I'm lumber talking to your master, and someone can give me 20 million, and I can make that last for over a year or more, as I still got some bases with 20 million. I'm close to 20 million, not really 20 million exact, but close to it. Because I don't really use that much over there, I spend more time building. And well, lumber tycoon too, I always have a lot of stuff gave to me by the viewers and stuff, and really appreciate that. It's kind of odd because the last four months or so, I've not really had that many gifts. I think that's because I have not been in public servers a lot. I've been stuck in private servers at Lumber Tycoon 2. As if I go in public servers, too many hackers, exploiters, people wanting to cause trouble. I could go into a Lumber Tycoon 2 public server and two out of four servers. There's either a hacker or exploiter in, and I, I don't really, I just don't know, uh, I exit out of the servers quickly when I see that, I do not stay around, like one, I think, I think it was last month, January, uh, walked into a public server, and there was one there with like three end times trees, and yes, I know there's only one tree per server, but somehow they managed to have three on their base. I don't know how the heck they pulled that one off, but they did. It was quite ridiculous, and they had the uh, cave crawler wood. They had two or three trees of it, like full trees, that they had exploited. And it was just sad to see that there. And the thing that made me laugh was they sitting there exploiting the trees and stuff, and then sitting there saying, oh, I'll sell you a piece of that tree for 400000 and I was sitting there just laughing like, if you're going to exploit trees, just go ahead and exploit dang money. Like, now I don't recommend exploiting or any of that in the games, but it's kind of common sense right there. If you're going to break the rules, break the rules. It shouldn't, but a lot of Lumber Tycoon 2 people do, and that's why I don't really go on public servers. Now it's pretty cool to see some of the stuff they can do with getting all the trees and everything on the base. That's pretty helpful for the smaller players getting started, but not really the right way to get started on the base. As I've seen some just starting out and have 20 million game to them and be sitting there with like 20 million and not even know how they even play the game and sit there have more money than experienced players. I've seen that so many times in Lumber Tycoon 2, but for Lumber Tycoon 2 Remastered, you can go into a public server any time and not see an exploiter hacker around. I've been playing this game for six or more months, and I have yet to see the first one. 
But Lumber Tycoon 2, you can see hundreds daily if you spend enough time around. It's quite a bit of difference between the two games. Lua did awesome on this game. Really enjoy it. <laughs> I really enjoy the new changes going on in the game all the time. New items making it a lot more different than Lumber Tycoon 2. Now games, copying games like that new Lumber Tycoon 4 I heard of. I think I heard that Jack UK or Code Primate did a video on it today. Today is February 1st so I'm recording it. Now games like that, yes the audio should take down because they are a pretty much exact rip-off copy of the game using the same shops, same sawmills, blueprints, conveyors, everything, scripts, map layouts. They're, they're copying the game pretty much every single way possible and they're even using the same exact axis. Now those type of games uh, I'm a grant sweep should be took down. I played maybe one or two of those for been over a year or so and they just not as fun as Lumber Tycoon 2. But Lumber Tycoon 2 Remastered I can say has put the most effort to try not to be a copy of the game. Like you can just pretty much look how the blue I mean blueprints are still about the same. But with the blueprints, they got the tall cylinder pose, and you got the lights, round lights there. You don't see that in Lumber Tycoon 2, last time I checked. You got the custom signs, where you can type what you want to pretty much interact with Xbox players or people who can't use the chat system. You got wood storages. That is a big one in Lumber Tycoon 2 Remastered. Now in Lumber Tycoon 2 you have to spend time building storages out of wood, place all those wood in the storages. With Remastered, you place them in these and it stores them in a cloud and you don't have to worry about excess wood around. Unless you don't have the storages for the wood like I do on a lot of them. As there's 15,000 a dang storage unit. And this game also has dang uh, a wood identifier that identifies the wood for you, tells you what the values of it is. Now, Lumber Tycoon 2, you'd have to go to the Wikipedia page or whatever to see the process of wood and learn about it, like I did when I first had to start Lumber Tycoon 2. But remastered, you don't have to do that. You just take a piece of dang wood, lay it in here, and boom, right there. $135 once it's milled. You can't sand or polish it, but the, well, I mean, you can, I'd say, because the red one here, the red polisher, value 810. Pink wood, it tells you the size. What the values for it is the value of that size of that wood. So you learn a lot that way. The trucks are different. They're not like the Lumber Tycoon 2 trucks. Got a glass stainer. All types of things. Trailers are different. Axes are different. I mean, maybe the same thing. Uh, type of layout, but at least axes. At least you don't see an alpha or beta or end times ringing them axes around here with the same exact design as Lumber Tycoon 2. That's what I'm basically trying to get at right there. It's putting an effort to be different and not to be an exact copy. And then you got the people out here copying the games like I was talking of Lumber Tycoon 2. For, number Tycoon 2's copy, Lumber Tycoon 4. And another thing Lumber Remastered has here is the mail hat shit right there. Did that just go under my base a second? Yeah, it did. But yeah, that has a special amount of wood. It's kind of similar to the end time tree in Lumber Tycoon 2. So that is about as close as to the end times actually gonna get. But that this male hatchet only chops the dang mineral trees. It cannot chop our tree. 
uh, same the dang metal hatch that can chop the metal, the mineral trees. <laughs> and like the end times the actual lumber tycoon too, which can chop any tree pretty much. And sorry I keep talking until it runs out right there. I am in a very talkative mood here for this video. I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing. I mean a whole lot of editing. For this right here. And I got some stuff to add on to the tail end of it right there. Um Uh, yeah. And I really can't wait for Lewis' new project that they're working on. Oh, my wood display looks amazing without the lights on. You could really see which ones are the neon colors. That's pretty cool. Wish that shine, though, would just go down just a little tiny bit. I understand the brightness and the color, but extra shine it's just sort of like sometimes it's just too much especially with cave crawler wood and lumber tycoon 2 that like just tone it down a little bit defaultio and tone it down a little bit lower just a little bit now if it was like this kind of shine like the paint this one paint version is it's okay, but when you get this type of shine right there beside of it, the very bright pink, that is, oh, it's hard to see the wood. It's easier to identify it, but as you just look at the two like right here, this line and then the other end there, that's two different type of pinks. Uh, and I didn't know that at first until I started filling in blueprints and saw that. That was just, oh. Goodness. So I'm probably going to be spending all month working on this base. Goodness. Well, that will be it for today's video. I think I have said just about enough. For one video. I know I've talked really fast and I've talked a lot of topics right there in 23 minutes or whatever. Um, I really should have used action a quarter today because I didn't really feel like I don't really feel like editing all of that out right there with the cut every 10 minutes as I normally do 10 minute long videos. I never really do videos this long. I should have used action. I probably will next time. It's just for action, it takes so long to upload. Mandy Cam, I can get it edited and uploaded in 20 minutes. Action, it would take me an hour or more. So, also, one other thing I gotta cover here before I call it day on the video right here. I've had it recommended that I t turn the camera all the way up to cover up the chat. What people don't understand is while I'm recording, I can actually see what you're seeing like the camera that is on the bottom corner i can see that on my screen so anything in that area i cannot interact with so if i was to move it up there to the chat if someone was to contact me on the chat i cannot see the message and i cannot respond to the message now, I know there's one or two out there always says, well, there ain't nobody in the chat anyways. Not always, but sometimes they are, and I really appreciate talking to them that few times. So, I'm going to leave it where it is, and it's going to stay there. So, I'm just going to put that out there. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment below, turn on notifications. Turn on YouTube notifications out there you should not get notified of the videos. We need all the support and help we can get. Thank y'all for being so awesome and enjoying the videos. See you around on Discord. I'll probably be in Grey's Anatomy Official a lot. I'll have to wait and see how things go, but I'll probably spend a lot more time there than I've been. And I know I already spent a lot of time there. I really enjoy my friends and Grey's Anatomy Official. Everybody there is so amazing and wonderful. I mean, they're, they're the best. They are the best. <laughs> I 
have a great day everyone we'll see you again very soon and on the main channel we'll see you on february 3rd for our first video of the year and also a reminder again in case you didn't catch earlier abundance has been postponed until further notice we'll tell you more later have a great day